All right, continuing on here. Um, at the time, I was especially excited to begin studying the Gospels. For me, the Gospels were the most familiar part of the Bible and my personal favorite. In particular, I was hoping that I would be able to learn more about Jesus. As a Christian, I had always believed that Jesus was the divine Son of God, fully God and fully man. Let's stop right there. Does that mean anything? Like, aren't I fully God and fully man? Aren't we all the sons and daughters of God? So, where's the part where Jesus is special? Um, okay. Um, as a Christian, blah, 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 I worshipped him and tried to the best of my ability to live according to his teachings. So when it came time in the classroom to turn to Jesus in the Gospels, I was all ears. Needless to say, I was somewhat taken aback when the professor began by saying, Forget everything you thought you knew about who wrote the Gospels. What? Oh my gosh, you know it's not Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. It's random people who came hundreds of years later. Okay, what? At the time, I was vigorously trying to take notes, so I couldn't quite digest, digest what the professor had just said. He continued, Although your English Bibles say the Gospel according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these titles were actually added much later. In fact, we don't really know who wrote the Gospels. No way. Nowadays, modern scholars agree that the Gospels were originally anonymous and handed down through a oral record. Um, and it, actually, the next page starts with the telephone game. So, anyways, got it. Titles were added later. The Gospels were originally anonymous. Wait a minute. We don't know who wrote the Gospels? Why should we believe them? Uh, weren't they the disciples of Jesus? Blah, blah, blah. At the time, these questions flashed through my mind in a matter of moments. Being a zealous undergraduate intent on getting straight A's, I was more focused on writing down the professor's word than on processing them. All the same, I do remember being struck by a thought. If what he was saying was true, which of course I never doubted since I was an ignoramus and he was the professor, then how do we know that what Jesus actually did and said? And why would it matter? <laughs> um, and in fact, that is exactly what he proceeded to talk about, the so-called quest for the historical Jesus in which modern scholars search for the truth about what Jesus really did and said using contemporary tools of historical research. Despite my initial surprise at the idea that we don't know who wrote the Gospels, the whole notion of the quest for Jesus still fascinated me. After all, Christianity is a historical religion, which claims that the God who made the universe actually became a man. Again, why is that surprising? You know, we're all part of this one thing. We're all parts of God. Um, a real human being who lived in a particular time and in a particular place. As a result, the idea of searching for the historical truth about Jesus made sense to me. So, somewhat blindly, that's what I set out to do.